Hello everyone, I am Divyanshu Kumar and today I will be discussing a problem named Array Modification. Uh, this was a question of October Lang Long Challenge 2019 in Codeshare Division 1 and 2. Right? Uh, and we were given an Array A uh, and Array and Array A and an integer K and we have to perform operations such that for int i equal to 0 to k minus 1 we have to update a i mod n to a of i mod n xor uh, a of n minus i mod n minus 1 right and then we have to output the final array a right so by what is given uh, I will explain a bit uh, exactly what operations we need to perform. Let's just say k was equal to 7, right? Then we will start from 0, right? So a of 0 equal to a of 0 x or a of uh, 6 here uh, n equal to 6, right? So we have a 6 length array, right? So 6 minus 0 is uh, 6 minus 1 is 5, right? And then Similarly, a of 1 equal to a of 1 x or a of 4 then a of 2 equal to x or a of 2 x or a of 3 right uh, yeah and then a of 3 equal to a of 3 x or a of uh, 6 minus 3 minus 1 is a of 2 and so on so on so on what will happen when k will increase after uh, when k will increase uh, more than l right uh, for that let me just, just just say like i equal to uh, 6 right here and just considering so a of n uh, since it can go to let's just consider 8 here so as it will have a better explanation or just one more right so here we'll have uh, let's just say k minus 1 is equal to 7 so let's just say we are considering the final value so that will be a of 7 mod 2 is uh, 7 mod 6 is 1 equal to a of 1 x or n minus i mod n so here uh, 6 minus 1 minus 1 so we'll have a of 6 minus 2 is 4 right so basically if you will see there is a mapping that which numbers are getting updated together like this right so basically these sets are getting updated in pairs right okay so this was the question and then we have to output the final array after these k operations right so if you have not solved this question I would suggest to pause the video and try to solve this question right so let's start discussing so we were given uh, that so if we think of a brute force approach okay let's just say i will iterate from i equal to 0 to k minus 1 and then i will output the final array so k was given of the order 10 raised power 12 so your solution would be order of k and that will definitely give you a tle so that was a big a big drawback right you will have a big drawback you won't pass so what could be the smart way to solve this question right because if you are iterating from uh, i equal to z, uh, 0 to k minus 1 obviously you will fail right so let's just discuss a smart solution for this a smart algo would be uh, since we know the fact like a uh, any number xor with itself will give you 0 right and 0 xor any number will give you the number itself okay so let's start let's just consider we are given an array of length 5 a b c d e right so in first iteration what will be the value right i equal to 0 then i will have means like no uh, let's just say i will iterate uh, i will update all of the values here right so i will have i equal to 0 to n minus 1 here right for these values I will have a x or e right the first value b x or d and c x or c then this c x or c is nothing but 0 right 
and then uh, we'll have d x or this value right but here the value is b or d uh, b x or d so here the value will be d x or b x or d right now this this d and this d will xor be cancelled so this will become b right and uh, here uh, this e xor uh, a xor e again so this will become a right so so hope you understood why what i did here right what i did this part right now i will basically erase that part and write for simplicity here right 0 b and a right 0 b and a so i got value 0 b and a this was my the final value after n minus 1 iterations let's just consider another n minus 1 iterations right then we'll have the values as a xor e xor a right then we'll then a will cut out right because a xor a will become zero so a xor a will become zero so only e will be left similarly b xor d uh, xor b here right so again b xor d xor b and then zero is again xor with zero and then i will have b xor d because here only d will be left d and a xor only e right a x or e again i will erase the values and write the simplified ones i was left here with e d and zero right these are the values after another n minus one iterations right now let us apply another n minus one iterations right so here we'll have e x or a x or e right e x or a x or e again a will be left then d x or uh, b x or d so b will be left then 0 x or 0 will be 0 right and then here i will have b x or d x or b b x or d x or b and then uh, a x or e x or a because here only a was left right so i will have here again e here it will not be b b x or b x or d right so it should be t right so the values will be a b 0 d and e right so again i will erase and write the values clearly for you by the way guys did you notice the pattern till now if you notice the pattern till now trust me you are smart okay so right so but yeah a b uh, d and e was left here right this was the left pattern we had after another n minus 1 iterations now let's just say uh, i want to apply another n minus 1 iterations then it will be a x or e right and then b x or d uh, 0 x or 0 d x or b x or d so here i will have b and e x or a x or e so here i will have a so if you notice here this value got repeated here right so basically uh, so this is only the pattern from n to again 2n minus 1 then 2n to 3n minus 1 okay so basically this is only the pattern here basically if you see the array values they will uh, uh, again repeat in this same manner whatever be the values that however how many complete iterations i can make so i can have a final uh, just one step calculation i don't need to iterate from i equal to n minus 1 to 3 n minus 1 uh, again if i see here so it, it will be again repeated in similar manner here i will have again e d 0 then b x or d and then here i will have a x or e right and again i will have a b 0 d and e 
so you can even try yourself just go on in this pattern so you will see if you if you have a complete cycle the values will be uh, either of these three right uh, this will be the initial one if if so if i have how many complete cycles i have let's just say the complete cycles be c right so if c mod 3 equal equal to 1 then i will have this pattern right and if i have c mod 3 equal equal to 2 then i will have this pattern if i have c mod 3 equal equal to 0 then i will have this pattern so basically this will be the case right so i don't need to iterate how many the complete uh, cycle c right so basically if you see here then the problem will be reduced to order of n now n was given to be very small just for the sake of yours i will just show n was given of the order 10 raised power 4 right so i will have a 10 raised power 4 solution right so yeah that was the trick involved so basically the trick in this question was figuring out this pattern in what way the XOR is happening right so I will just walk you through the code right so here I have the library then LLI defined right and then LLI for I defined it for taking input of K okay so basically then this is fast IO right and then I have the test cases taking input of test cases then array value defined outside so as I don't need to initialize again and again right and then I am taking uh, input N and K right and then i am taking array input then i am calculating how many complete set c i can make that is nothing but k by n that many number of complete set i will have and then m will be uh, the left number of set so uh, left number of iterations so basically if you see here uh, here the complete set means like how many multiples of n do i have right so but basically let's just consider an example here i will just erase in this page only for a uh, sake of simplicity I will have like here okay so it will be easier to explain here also so here if you see we were given n uh, n equal to 5 right and then let's just say k equal to 23 here so what you can see is uh, n mod k n by k uh, sorry k by n i will have 23 by 5 that is nothing but four complete cycles i will have i means like 0 to 20 i can complete right but what about 20 to 23 right so that will be nothing but that sorry 21 to 23 so that will be nothing but the left iterations i need to complete 20 to 22 basically right because i have to go to uh, a number less right k minus 1 so basically that will be how many iterations 20 21 and 22 so that is nothing but m equal to k mod n what will be the remainder means like uh, even after completing the cycles how many left iterations i need means like those are not part of the cycle okay so here let me just uh, again walk you through the code again so yeah so this is the left part how many left i will have okay and then so moving on right so if l mod 3 equal equal to 1 the case i told you right so basically i will be just uh, doing it once for n by 2 i will have updating a of i equal to a of uh, i xor a of n minus i minus 1 and uh, a of n minus i minus 1 equal to tp so what I'm doing here is this one. The i part is a of a x or e, and the the conjugate part is nothing but the initial one a, right? So just replace it. You don't even need to do uh, x or also, right here. So that part I'm I'm doing here. Similarly for the second case, I'm doing a of n minus i this one equal to x or and replacing the uh, the its conjugate here right so if you see here the conjugate is just replaced and here we are calculating the xor right the pairing i mean like this right and then i am checking if uh, n was odd right and uh, i had l means like at least one complete cycle i had right then a of n by 2 will always be equal to 0 because you see here 
once i got c x or c right so then it will be always 0 x or 0 0 x or 0 so if i have a odd length right then the middle element will always be 0 right so that's why i did this then how many operations are left right so that will be nothing but m m will be always less than 10 to the power 4 right so just completing those operations won't take much time so a of i equal to a of i x or a of n minus i minus 1 right because m will be always less than n so i don't need to perform here uh, i mod n what was given in the question right because i already computed m as uh, k mod n right so obviously m will be less than n right so i got this and then i just i'm just outputting the array a of i and then end it right so yeah that was all i hope you understood the concept right if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section below also if you want me to solve any question of division 2 right you can let me know i will uh, see if i can uh, have a video solution for same but yeah i will be mostly posting the uh, solution videos for the questions which were in both division 1 and 2 uh, also you can follow me on twitter uh, at capital d v k underscore cool at twitter right for knowing how many means like which contest i am playing or when the videos will be out or just getting status updates and all so yeah right you can follow me on twitter right so okay so that will be all if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section below uh, do like the video and subscribe to my channel for more more such content uh, yeah happy coding thank you